I was browsing Gideon's website over ultimate64.com and I wanted to check out the firmware versions and I noticed that there was an update here on June 21st, 2023 and the version I'm on is 3.10a and the version out that, that's out now is 3.10j. Let's take a look at the change log. Over here Gideon documents the changes between 3.10j as it compares to 3.10a. And it, it's a little bit of a read to kind of read through all this. He has some fixes here and here for the EX FAT, for Easy Flash, for GeoRAM, and to support 2 MHz operation for any cartridge, including Easy Flash. Minor fixes in the modem emulation layer. So I thought I would go ahead and apply this update. He also has a firmware, there's a firmware target added, Ultimate 2 Plus L, the Lattice version. System information page now shows elaborate version information, Geos support functions from Marcus C64, cartridge support, added support for Blackbox V9. So let's take a look at the installation instructions. It's fairly simple. I've done this before. All we have to do is download it. You simply browse with the file browser in the ultimate menu to the unzipped firmware file. Move to the appropriate file with the cursor and press return to bring up the context menu. Select run update and the updater will begin. And the updater will be loaded and started. All right, let's see how that works. I will unzip it here. And we'll copy that up to the flash drive. There we go. Oh, as you can see, I have my 310A sitting there. And now that that's copied, we can switch over to the Commodore 64, or to the Ultimate 64, and apply the update. Okay, as you can see, I'm on version 3.10A. -A. Into the Ultimate. And then once you do that, the Flash disk shows up, cruiser blade. All right, so now you can see we have the USB cruiser blade. And if I page down, there's the ultimate 3.10 version J. Here we can take a look at the, ver the changes and we could read through that if we want. Well, let's just go ahead and run the update. So go into the 3.10 J folder so let's go ahead and run the update. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. You about to update? Yes. Reset configuration recommended. I think it's gonna put me back in the PAL mode. Turning off machine in five seconds. Yep, it <laughs> put me back in PAL mode, dang it. All right, even though I did say yes to wipe out the configuration, I don't recommend you doing it, especially if your default is not PAL mode. So what I had to do here was I had to hook up my Ultimate 64 into a retro tink and it was kind of a hassle but I was able to eventually switch it over to NCSC mode as you see on the screen and then once you do that you have to save the changes to the flash and then you can basically continue from there. Okay I am back and you'll notice now the version says 1.42-3.10J when you do reset all the settings after the firmware update, you do have to go in. You have to reconnect your ultimate up some kind of way. I used my retro tink. But when you do, you go in and you got to get to this menu and switch the system mode back to NTSC. If you're an NTSC person, that's the first step. Then after that, you have to make sure your ROMs so you go under C64 cartridge and cartridge settings. 
Make sure you set your kernel ROM, your basic ROM, and your character ROM. And those are the three ROMs I have selected. So I have the 901.227-03 is my kernel. Basic is 901.226-01. And then I have my character ROM is 901.225-01. The other thing you'll need to do if you're using anything that would use this uh, command interface, I have to re-enable it. And there are a few other settings that are escape escaping me that might need to be set that are specific to the Ultimate 64 to make uh, some things work as usual. But those are the main ones. Once you're done and you make those changes, you hit you select yes. And then when you go back out to basic, you'll be able to run your programs like normal. Oh. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to do is make sure I have the LED setting. You can probably set this to pulse or scroll. And then when you're done making the changes, the best way to go about rebooting is to go into this menu. You can get to this by hitting F5 and reboot the 64. And then from there, you ought to be able to browse any of your programs and run them like normal. Now the, the only other thing you might want to do is, is to make sure everything's working the pulse. Here. The only other thing you might want to do instead of just using those basic ROMs, you can instead set up, if you purchased, you can go ahead and set up your your Jiffy DOS or, or go ahead and use the Dolphin DOS if you prefer. And you can use those ROMs. For, for now I'm going to leave it the way it is, leave it at that. And then those are the settings that I'm using for the kernel. So now I'm going to do the same update except I'm going to use my Ultimate 2 Plus L cartridge plugged in. And let's try this update again. So you notice here it says 3.10G which is newer than the one I had in my ultimate. Let's uh, before we run it, let's hit, let's see what the cartridge settings are. So let's go ahead and locate the update. The folder is 3.10j. I'm going to enter. And then we're going to run the <laughs> U2L update. Run update. You want to format? Yes, please do. Flash? Yes. Reset configuration. Yeah, go ahead. Turn off your machine. Turn it back on. Voila, let's push the button. All right, it's that easy. We're now on 3.10J on the Ultimate 2 cartridge. And we are rocking and rolling. So I just wanted to demonstrate that, how easy it is to do on the real hardware. Anyway, I hope you found this video of use, and we'll catch you in the next one.